South Korea's presidential committee dedicated to stealing of economic cooperation between the two Koreas and Eurasia returned home on Sunday after a two-day stay in North Korea. Our accordion here has more on the story. Wrapping up their two-day trip to North Korea, members of the Presidential Committee on Northern Economic Cooperation arrived back in South Korea on Sunday. The 11-member committee, led by Chairman Song Young-gil, stayed in the north-northeastern border region of Nasan from Friday. Song shared the commission's trip with the public by filming the video by himself. The group managed to check out railway infrastructure and local industrial areas, including Najin Port. They also held discussions with North Koreans and Russians on the Najin Hazan logistics project, which aims to eventually transport coal from Russia to the north by rail and then to South Korea by ship. Officials noted that the project is subject to sanctions imposed by the United States, but said it could lay the foundations for economic preparations until progress is made on Pyongyang's denuclearization. Besides preparing for economic cooperation, efforts for civilian interaction between the two Koreas are also taking place. Members of a pro-unification civil organization called the Korean Council for Reconciliation and Cooperation left for North Korea early Monday. They are expected to discuss various issues, including bringing home the remains of Korean victims that were forced to work by Tokyo during Japan's colonial rule of Korea. It also plans to discuss the establishment of a cross-border communication line to expand civilian exchanges. Officials said the trip will encourage more active civilian exchanges between the two Koreas. Korunhee, Arirang News.